It's um, what day is it? Friday, Friday morning. I'm just waiting for Ellen outside Bath uh, train station. It's around 11 o'clock. She's due to get in at 20 past. Um, and uh, just managed to get myself some padded shorts. So I'm having to keep it stuck on the battery pack now. But yeah, she's due to get here at half past 20 past 11. So that's exciting. Got myself some padded shorts and that feels a lot better. And just riding my bikes there actually, just from the hostel down to here feels so much better. Um, not just the shorts, but just in general, I just feel like I've got a lot more energy today, which is great. Because I woke up this morning with the most severe, horrible headache, feeling basically like I've been on a bender. Really, really fucked. And uh, my cough's just been absolutely dreadful. So, um, but that seems to have cleared up. Once I got some paracetamol and ibuprofen in me, a bit of coffee, a bit of food, I now feel like a human again, which is great. And um, met a guy outside the hostel who walked from Swindon called Dallas. Uh, so that was kind of cool. Um, and he literally had taken the traveling light thing to a whole other level and just had a bum bag. And I was like, oh, have you got a backpack or whatever? And he's like, nope, just this. Literally just like a shirt, a pair of shorts, bum bag, and he'd walked all the way from Swindon, which is fucking bonkers. So I thought I was crazy, but this guy's taking it to a whole other level. Right, um, not much else to say really. I will uh, keep you posted. Okay, check this place out. This is basically riding through a mountain just outside Bath. It goes on for ages. That's Alan, say hello. <laughs> um, yeah, this is nuts. Right, let's just keep riding. And uh, can't really see much on the camera because it's so dark in here. But there's also music being piped in here somehow. I don't know if you can hear that. But how crazy is that? Mental. We can't even see the end of it yet. It just goes on and on and on. Ten minutes. Ten minutes in in the in the earth. We're literally riding in the earth. It's bonkers. Check this out. Resistance is fertile, and dozer something, and amazing views. So, apparently it is, what is it? <laughs> no? <laughs> okay. It's an art thing made of all different kinds of rocks from different places. Sweet. Stone columns by Jerry Orton. I think Ellen is dying of cringe right now. <laughs> I knew. Oh, I'm not going to <laughs> Yeah, I know what you mean. It's hideous. Yeah, that's true. Check out these crazy thistles. Thistles. Wow, I feel like my lisp is coming back. I used to have a lisp when I was a kid. It's hard to, it's hard to say. Can you say thistle? It's thistle. Oh my God. My lisp is actually like... Thistle. Thist oh, I can't say it. Fuck. Thist thist that's a really hard word for me to say for some reason, but they're beautiful. view from up here. It's this really crazy like bench configuration. It's such a beautiful day today. It's really windy and sunny. Basically perfect. Being out and about. Do you need a leg up? Are you sure? 
right, here I am being a bit of a bell end. Oh my God, I don't think I can bring myself to do it. I'm quite scared of heights. No, I actually have vertigo, just think, oh my God. So this part of the country seems to be incredibly well catered for, well, seems to cater for cyclists incredibly well, is what I was trying to say. Um, and these paths just seem to go on for miles and miles. We've pretty much been on dedicated cycle tracks all the way from uh, Bath now. And uh, it's really good. Lots more hills today though, which is not so good, but also quite fun. Here we are in uh, Radstock. This apparently is called Gorilla Knitting, which is not something I'd ever heard of, but it's fucking awesome. And then, um, wait, I'll turn it around because there's other cool stuff on the other side of the road. So over here is um, some flower thing. I don't know. Can't really see it. But yeah, don't know how much you'll be able to hear because of the traffic. It's super noisy. Don't know if you heard the gorilla nesting thing, but it's super cool. And um, we've just made a decision based on the fact that I can't get a rack anywhere. And I've been to like 300 bike shops to try and find a rack. And this was the last, the last straw. Bike it. Anyway, it was the last straw and we've decided to get rid of, because Alan brought a bunch of camping gear that's weighing her down like a lead balloon. Um, so we've decided we're just gonna cheap B and B it uh, for the rest of the trip and get rid of all the the camping gear, send it back up to London because it's just gonna make the whole thing that much more enjoyable. Um, so yeah, I've just booked a place in Glastonbury for tonight and um, gonna head to the post office now, get rid of the stuff, and then crack on. Check out these cows loads of cows. I'm actually not a fan of cows, they kind of freak me out. Like, why are they all stood right here? It just seems really strange. Like this act nothing here except a road. Why do they want to be stood near the road? They're covered in flies as well. Ooh. Right, so cows, fields, trees, bikes, Ellens, and um, really busy B roads. It's like super fast, super annoying. Um, but to be fair, most of the day we've been on this amazing cycle track. It's just gone all the way from Bath to this point. So we've been really lucky with that actually. Um, but yeah, I think we're gonna jump off the B road because it's just really sketchy, the cars come up so fast behind you. And, uh, yeah. It's an amazing part of the world. Fucking hell, it's windy, mate. You're probably not going to get anything I'm saying because of the wind, right? But yeah, this road is fucked. We've been on it for only like a few minutes, but it's quite annoying. Um, but the rest of the day has been fucking sick. Like, so good. We did dilly dally quite a lot in Radstock, which I have to say is the best name for a town. I was saying to Alan, like, I've got a new ambition now, which is basically that I want to end up living somewhere with Rad in the name. Which, uh, yeah, so there's Radstock. So if you know of any other places with Rad, leave a comment for that jazz. So I have to scrape them out. Um, but yeah. Okay, well, it's so nice to have company. Definitely makes it makes the time go much quicker. Ellen's disappearing into that really strange. Look at that there. I don't know if you can see back there. Like a weird copse in the middle of the field with a hole in it. That definitely looks like the kind of place where fairies would live. Strange wooden creatures. approaching the uh, fairy cops and Ellen's just said imagine if there was a balloon in there 
for anyone that's um, seen Helia will know what we're talking about. If you haven't seen Helia, you should watch Helia. Stop what you're doing right now and watch Helia immediately. Because uh, it's an astonishing show. Yeah, this is crazy. Look at this place. It's not quite as magical as I'd imagined. I was expecting like giant toadstools and uh, yeah, goblins, but alas, no goblins in sight. Although I'm not sure I'd want to meet a goblin to be fair. They actually sound pretty hair raising. Still, it's pretty cool. Check this view. Pretty sweet, eh? Again, it never looks quite as good on camera as it actually looks in real life, but it looks amazing. So nice. What are your thoughts, Alan? I'm not a fan. You're not a fan? No. You'd rather be in Hackney? Fuck ugly. What? Fuck ugly. Fuck ugly. You'd pick Hackney any day of the week over this week. No, it's all right, but to be honest, my favourite kind of view is like trees, like more trees and rivers. Oh, fair. Yeah. So I'll give it like 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10. Yeah, see it could be like more hilly. Let's see, I'm a big fan of like big hills. But it's still quite nice. I'll give it a 8 out of 10. My favourite bit of it yeah. is the like very last bit. Look at the clouds though. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's nice. It's the, the like purple blue. Yeah, it is, it is gorgeous. What do they call those clouds? Is a name for them? My old man would know this because he's a pilot. It's like they're a special kind of cloud. Not sure what they are, are they? Yeah, what are they? What are they? Oh, it begins with C. P. Sirius. No, that's fucking... That's Helia stuff again. That's the blue star, Sirius. Yeah, that, I would have freaked it. So we're actually on my name now. We're riding on my name, Ellen. I know. I know. We will, though. It will happen for sure. I bet there's a Rexford Lane. There must be. Yeah. It's just a day's grave. Jay's grave? Yeah, Jay's grave. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's it. Yeah. And then she got pregnant and she killed herself. Oh fuck. And then they married her on the side of the road. Her name was Jay, right? Her name was Jay. Yeah. And every single day since then. Yeah. Fresh picked flowers and was like in a little bit. No. And I went to see it and I saw the flowers. Fuck, I told you it's the magic it's the it's a totally magical part of the country. Oh, we have to find that. That's in Devon. I think that's not far from Exeter. Yeah. So we might be able to check. That's a crazy story. So yeah, anyway, this is Slight Lane. And uh, yeah, we're about to bomb this hill. So I'm gonna try not to die. Well, that was the most insane hill bomb. That was fucked, wasn't it? That was absolutely All right, check it out. The tour, you know, can we see it? I can't see it. I get so confused by the direction. Here, we've just seen the tour, so I'm just going to switch it up and uh, you can see. Check it out. Oh, it looks so shit on the camera, especially with the, the telephone pilot. It just looks abysmal. So anticlimactic, but actually, in real life, it's phenomenal. Look at that thing. It's so fucking cool, man. I don't even really know what it is or why it's there. I dare say we'll find out. Yeah, so we finally made it. It's um, yeah, it's taking quite a while today, but we're here pretty much. Pretty much done it. Ellen, yeah. 
what does that get out of 10 then? The tour, yeah. You think it trumps Tronic Tower? Yeah. It's close though, isn't it? I mean, it's I'm close. Yeah, it's close. It's basically the countryside version of Tronic Tower, I think, is what we could say. Somerset Trello. Right, we're just doing the last few miles going up this insanely straight road, which we've just discussed and have decided between the two of us that it was definitely a Roman road. And we've got the tour over there still. Just churning out the last few miles. 19 minutes. 19 minutes, is it? It's not too bad. Yeah. All in all, it's been a pretty good day. What's your, um, how do you feel about the first day? Pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Pretty happy. Yeah. Not too arduous. Especially now we've got rid of your, um, on your shit, yeah. Definitely a, a good call, I think. Yeah, it feels like it's going to be Definitely. Yeah. Yeah, no, we'll be good. We've still got the water thing that you want to test out. Let's see if we get dysentery. <laughs> Do you want to check it with that? Yeah. I think so, yeah. Explain that again, Alan. What's happened here? Yeah. Expert. Like the trees. No, no, say exactly what you just said. What did you just say? <laughs> no, no, no. What did you just say? The ground fell up. <laughs> the whole ground fell over. <laughs> the ground, ground, it fell up. Fell upwards. It's mental. I wish there was a way to climb over that, but oh, it just looks far too sketchy. Is there a tr there is a tree on the other side? But how the fuck did it take that much ground with it? Because that's an extraordinarily big amount of ground. Maybe there's a tree that you can't see that's like really, really big. I can see like a tree there, but... Fucking hell. Yeah, the thing is, my legs are fucked, so... There's not much... There's not much stability in them. <clears throat> Oh, it'd be so shit to like end the day in the muck. No, it's alright. <laughs> I'm not really worried about that. I'm more worried about arriving with cholera. Right, so this is the best part of Glastonbury. Look at the sky. Not the sky, the sky is awful. What I'm really talking about is travel lodge and a subway and dominoes and uh, all this glorious Americanized stuff not like the lovely quaint picturesque weird quirky high street that we've just been on but this glorious place that we're staying in anyway that's some um, the end of today it's been great what's your verdict Ellen out of ten What? Yeah. yeah. For what though? For the travel lodge. <laughs> the Domino's. Lundis. The Lundis. The Lundis where we just got the these. Annoyingly I completely forgot to video anything worthwhile, but who cares? <laughs>